There was a massive presence of police. They say they're here to prevent even an attempt to protest. But these young people say they are here to demonstrate peacefully. We are not using violence, we are not stealing, we are just expressing ourselves. For many here in Tunis, resuming their daily lives is a priority. The situation is relatively stable, but one policeman told me there is a tension here. They are not here to protest, they are here to vandalize and beat us. In last week, Tunis was rocked with a series of violent protests. They were sparked by the declarations of former Minister of Interior Farhat Rashi. The government announced a curfew, it says, to calm the situation. On Sunday, the Prime Minister Bejaqait Sebsi hosted a press conference in which he tried to clarify the stand of the transitional government. He talks like someone that is whether irresponsible or unaware, urging to create turmoil. This graffiti says, I cannot dream with my grandfather. For many Tunisians, Bejaqait Sebsi is not the right man to lead the country out of the crisis. I feel that an ordinary person is talking. A prime minister can't talk like that. What he said is not persuasive, is not political. He uses Tunisian dialect in formal meetings. He just did not convince me. He accused Farhat Raji of being an irresponsible person, but the very fact of calling the former Minister of Interior Affairs a liar is also an irresponsible behavior. He should have reassured Tunisian people. For others, he's a patriotic and doing his best in difficult situation. He's a diplomat and a renowned politician. No one can love and serve the country better than him. Tunisia is preparing for its first democratic elections in decades on July 24th. Many here are hoping the coming days and weeks will bring some calm and stability. As Maghribi, Tunisia Live.